or more of these for different people oh, that had some uh, say about the future of energy in the state. And it became obvious to me you know, that um, Georgia Power was not exactly doing what they should have been doing according to the terms of the monopoly. Uh, you know, I came in, I think one of the first questions I heard was I heard, um, how do we manage to get this, what we did through the Public Service Commission? Uh, and if any time, you know, when I'm talking, if there's something that y'all want specifically more information on, let me know. Because I'm just saying what I, you know, what I know, and I'm not certain what you want to hear. Um, are you, are you curious about? But um, we began to um, uh, be aware that there was something missing. And but I did notice that we, myself, I say myself, I'm talking about myself and Shane out recently, partners. that Georgia Power had missed something and had pretty much had people in the state unaware. But they, but when they obtained the monopoly in the state, which is, by the way, the greatest subsidy any government can bestow in the private industry, so the reality is they are the most subsidized company in the state. They, um, they gave back a promise to us as great payers. And that promise was they promised that whatever they did, it would be in our best interest. That's a binding agreement. And um, my numbers and my analysis and what I was hearing, you could think like it's too cloudy in Georgia, stuff like that. My numbers are uh, it's not too cloudy in the state. This is a great state, you know, for solar. Uh, it was pretty obvious that there was a significant disparity between the rhetoric that I was hearing and reality, and physical reality, what the physics was saying, what the finance was saying. And so Shane and I had brought this fellow along with his cotton farm, convinced him to make it a little larger because he had the space, he had about 300 acres. And we proceeded to help him in exchange for the construction. We proceeded to help him get this thing approved. Ultimately, Georgia Power, for whatever reason, decided let's just make it a 50 megawatt. And with the urging of the commission, the 50 megawatts got voted through. And they got voted through this power purchase agreement. And everybody that obtained parts of that power purchase agreement had worked with us. And, um, but in the middle of this whole thing, as, as we became aware of, there were several issues that were important way you set up these large arrays, utility scale arrays, utility scale arrays, not the least of which was the financing. Financing alone was worth several points worth of efficiency, if not more. As a matter of fact, the financing, the financial structure of it 